Welcome back to the Body Coach app. Hello and welcome to the Body Coach TV. My name is Joe Wicks and this is a 20 minute dumbbell strength workout. All you need for this workout is one pair of heavy dumbbells. I'm using a pair of 10 kilograms. And what we're gonna do is 20 exercises, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, all the way through. If at any point you're struggling, you need to miss one out, have a little bit more recovery, all good. Just recover, rest, and then rejoin for the next exercise. It's 20 moves in total. We're gonna kick things off by doing what I call a devil press, which sounds a bit scary, but it's not too bad. So hands um, on the dumbbells. We kick back into the high plank. We jump the feet forwards, then just using the right arm, we swing that dumbbell up, we squat down and press up. So we're gonna repeat that. So it's plank, jump forwards, swing up, front squat, shoulder press. That's our first exercise. 40 seconds on that, we have a 20 second rest and move on. Are you ready? Let's go. So kick out, jump forwards, swing up, squat down, shoulder press, repeat. So kick out, squat down, and push up. Excellent. Keep it going. Just using this right arm my own for now. Squat low, press above the head. Excellent. So we get deep in the squat, arm comes above the head. So we're going to rest after 20, uh, we've rested 20 seconds, then we're going to do a set of push ups, then we'll do the left side. Okay, so we're going to do the left side, but we've got some push ups in between. Squat down, press up, and then rest. So we're now going to leave those dumbbells for a second. We are going to do the other side, but we're actually going to do a set of push-ups in between. So hands on the ground, if you can. Full push-ups, if not, obviously from the knees. Same thing, try and lower yourself down as many as you can in 40 seconds. And then we'll do the left side with that devil press. You ready? Here we go. Come on, so 40 seconds of strong, controlled push-ups. Chest the floor if you can, full extend at the top. Chest the floor, full extension. <clears throat> keeping those abs engaged, or keep the abs tight. So when you go down, you're really keeping that plank engaged. <sighs> if you're struggling at any point, drop to the knees, carry on, same thing, bit less resistance. Keep pushing, last rep, and relax. All right, our shoulders and chest, and we're tired now. What we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'll face forward for this one, except we're going to be kicking the feet back as we come up. It's that left arm, left arm bell. Arm comes up, yeah? So, same thing, 40 seconds. Are you ready? Nice deep breaths. Let's go for some speed. Let's go. So, we kick out, come forwards, swing up, front squat, press above the head. Really good. Right, keep up, keep it going. So, get that technique, squat down. Push, a great move this, working lots of muscles. Swing, drive. 20 seconds to go. Let's go, kick out. Almost there. Come on, let's go, swing up. Front right position, squat down low, overhead press. Let's do one more of those to finish. Kick out, good, swing up, and recover. Okay, three moves complete. Next one I want to do is a similar thing, except we're going to be doing another set of push-ups, but we're going to bring our knee across the body. So what we do, I'll try to slow the plane, I don't want to do it here. We're going to push up. Okay, so push up, and then bring the knee across. Okay, let's go. So push up, knee comes across. Push up, knee comes across. If you can't do the shot off the knee, same thing, just do a push up, come up, bring the knee, down, up. Okay, so we just do the same push up with that crossover. Just obviously from the knee position. Oh, it's hard. Much, much harder. Keep going. So push up, bring the knee across. Push up, knee across. So just one knee comes across the body. Ah, oh, that's really hard. Let's go a couple more. Push, knee. Oh, that was hard. Okay, our shoulders and chest are definitely going to work out today. So next I want to do, this is number five. We're actually going to do a devil press again. So we're going to kick back. We're going to go into that burpee position. Swing both up. And we're going to do two front squats. Okay, so basically both dumbbells come up together. So kick back into the plank. 
jump forward, so just swing them up, and then from there we go down, one, down, two, repeat. Dumbbells down, kick out, jump forward, swing them up, two, deep squats. Yeah, that's harder. Much harder with the two tens. Swing them up. One, and two. Ah. Kick out. Last one. Swing them up. Yeah. And rest. Oh, that's horrible. Horrible move. Okay, we're now being a basically a loaded sort of bear core position. So dumbbells together, like so. Feet got wider than that in the back, we're going to row from there. So row the dumbbells up. Off we go. So row, dumbbell up towards the body. Oh, again, if you need to have a rest, it's fine. It's 40 seconds out, it's quite hard. Have a little reset, give the rest a little wrist a break, and go again. Almost there. Oh, I've got a rest. Oh, it's hard on the shoulders today. Big workout, big moves. Keep rowing if you can. Last couple of seconds. And recover. Whew. Okay, shake those arms off. We're going to stand up now, we're going to do some reverse lunges. So one dumbbell in each hand. We're going to have those feet at the front of the mat to begin with. Then we're going to step back into a reverse lunge. Dropping those knees if you can. Nice and low. This is number seven of 20. Let's go. It's a short work, it's going to go quick. So stay together. Let's try and finish these moves if we can. If you need to adjust the weights, obviously you can. If you want to have a lighter set, then obviously I'm just using the 10s all the way through. Next move we're going to do is a shoulder press, okay? Dumbbell, shoulder press above the head. 20 seconds left. Right, strong legs now. Slow down even more if you can. Slow down. Control it. It's not a race. Oh, what's the balance there? Okay, so just really control that movement. Lower that back knee down. Look straight ahead, shoulders back. And rest. Let's put it down for a second. Next up then, we've got some strict, if you can, dumbbell shoulder press. This is number eight of 20. Right, one dumbbell in each hand. Here we go, the heart rate's raising now. Okay, ready? So dumbbells that wide, press above the head. Let's go. Again, slow control movement all the way up. And then not, I'm trying not to use the legs, I'm trying not to bounce. Trying to do a strip shoulder press. Ah, all these people having now. Good, pressing again, 20 seconds to go. It's getting hard now. These are the reps that can, these are the strength reps, aren't they? These are the easy ones, first 10 are easy. Go again, go again. Uh, okay, 10 seconds. Let's do a couple more. Uh, last one for me. Ooh, and rest. Ooh. Okay, dumbbells down. We're going to go to a high plank position now. So when we did the bear crawl position, we're now going to do a high plank, holding the dumbbells. From there, we're going to renegade row. So bring that dumbbell towards the hip. Okay, so really think about stabilizing the core, no rotation. And we're going to row that dumbbell towards your hips. Let's go. So row up. Good. Slowly. No rush for these. So work on the muscle of your upper back. But your core's really getting worked here. Proper. Yeah. Row. And down. It's okay. Take a little break. I'm going to rest, my, rest a few seconds. Just shake them off. And then go again. You've got another 15 seconds on the clock. So keep rowing. Nice straight. Plank, keep that core engaged. We're up on our feet, next one for some, next, uh, next time for some bicep curls on the next move. Row, down, row, down, down, oh. I like this type of workouts, they're short but full body, they're working those muscle groups at once. So we're now going to do some bicep curls. So rotate the dumbbells, just come up, 40 seconds. Here we go, one dumbbell each hand. Come on, stay with me. Curling these dumbbells. 
Off we go. This is number 10, okay? 10 of 20. So slow reps, building the strength. I would say with strength training, the last sort of two or three reps, the same with doing 10 reps, the last two or three should be a struggle. Not to the point where you're like, you know, losing control, but you should be feeling it, it should be burning, it should be hard, it should be challenging. And if it's not, just try and increase the weights a little bit, even a time, like a kilogram more or half a kilo, whatever it may be. Or if you're using bands, obviously go for slightly tight with the bands. 10 seconds, curl for the win. Last five seconds, then we're gonna do some bent over rows in a standing position. Okay, relax. So, shake the arms up and out. We're doing a bent over row position, so hinge from the hips, keeping that back nice and straight. And we're gonna row down the weights below the knees, squeeze, retract those shoulder blades, upper, you think about the muscles in your upper back. Are you ready? So, we hinge from the hips, weights are just below the knees, and we roll them up, keeping that sort of 45 degree angle, so they're not completely narrow, they're not wide, they're 45 degrees. Pull and row. Obviously, you want to make it easy to take that angle out a little bit. The smaller hinge, the more you hinge, you're going to feel it more in the lower back. It does hit the muscles in the upper back too when you squeeze those weights up. If your lower back feels like it's kicking in, have a rest, recover, reset, go again. You are definitely challenging the lower back here, but this is about the muscles in the you know, top of the back, back and shoulders, row. Let's do one more rep. Yes. Woo. Okay. We're now going to go into the first section we've done. So it's going to be that right, the devil press, we kick back and come up, and then we squat and press. We're doing the right side, then straight into the left, because there's no breaks. So it's going to be right side, 40, left side, 40. Are you ready? So kick back with both hand dumbbells, come forward, swing it up, squat down will be low. Press up the peaks. We're staying on that side now. So kick back. Right dumbbell comes up. Squat low. Press up. Repeat. Right, let's go for some speed now then. So swing up. Squat and low. And push. 20 seconds on the clock. Then we switch sides. Come on, big drive forwards. Get down into that squat. Get low as you can. Make them legs work now. Make them legs work. So swing it. Squat. Press, we've got one more left, come on in, last one. Five seconds, five seconds, and rest. Right, 20 second recovery, we're going straight in down the left side. So straight forwards, same move, except we squat down, dip low, don't dip low. drive up. Ah, oh, I like these short, intense workouts. Right, here we go, kick back. Okay, so swing the, kettle, swing the dumbbell up, Squat down in a deep front squat. Press that dumb above the head. Repeat. So swing it, squat it, press it. Nice functional move with this. Swing it, squat, push. We've got another two reps to go. Go on, last two reps. Down. Press, one more, we've got five seconds to complete the last rep. Five seconds, up we get. Swing it, squat, and press. Okay, that's brilliant. 13 moves complete. What we're gonna do now is go into a high plank. I'm basically gonna bring one dumbbell, like this. We're gonna high plank, I'm gonna pull the dumbbell through. Okay, so you're gonna pull it through and across. Ah, off we go. So pull it through. Drag it on the floor, using that left to right movement. Again, keeping the core engaged, there's no rotation. Your abs are working. All right, have a rest. No, it's okay to have a little rest at the halfway point because it's tough on the shoulders and the wrists. Just reset for a few seconds. Get back in. That's it, pull it across. Drag it. Without letting them hip rotate. Ah, last few seconds. Ah. Ah. And rest. Ah. Okay, we're now going to leave both dumbbells. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do two rows and then six mountain climbs. So what I mean by that is two of these. We go row, row, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two rows, six mountain climbs. This is number 15. 
Okay, so two rows. Let's go, so we're up one, we're up two, then six climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, repeat. One, two, one, two, three, four, and again. Two, big strong rows, six mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, the rest. Keep going if you can, if you've got the strength. After some reason, every few seconds, you've got to shake the wrist up. Right, two again. Row, row, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, the bell's almost coming. Last set, finish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, excellent. Okay, up on our feet. Number 16, we've got some dumbbell front squats. So one dumbbell each hand. Just nice, deep, slow, controlled front squats. Really far up the quads now, ready? Just gonna raise our heart rate again. Here we go. So hold them up, front rack. Okay, we go down slow, nice and low, and come up. Oh, that's it. How low can you go? Come on. Down low. That's it, slow reps. Oh, it's deep. Final five seconds. Can we get one more rep? Last one. Okay, recover. Put them down for a second. Right, I want to see our heart rate raise now. So what we're going to do is a sprint on the spot. So no dumbbells needed for this. Out the way. Out the way. It's going to be 40 seconds. High knees, want to raise the heart rate to the last little bit. Okay, come on. Let's go. 40 seconds. Bring the heart rate up. Get those knees lifted. Come on, fast. Even quicker. Keep driving the knees, come on. Keep lifting. Ready for a little turbo finisher. Last 10 seconds, ready for that clap. Sprint, let's go. Come on, quick. Knees up, faster. More, more effort. Three, two, one. Ah. Three more moves. Next one I'm gonna do. With the dumbbells, one in each hand. We're gonna squat down. Squat down, hit the dumbbells on the ground, curl, press, squat, curl, press. Let's go, so squat, curl, press, repeat. Squat, curl, press, ah. squat, curl, ah. Good work, come on, we've only got two more moves after this. Two more big ones to finish. Oh. Ah. Squat. Last 10, can we get the dumbbells down? Right on the ground if you can. Curl and press. Squat. Curl, last press. And rest. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, have a drink quickly. So one dumbbell in each hand. What we're gonna do is we kick out into the high plank. Come forward, and then we're going to deadlift. So really think about pulling on the hamstrings and glutes. Let's go. So kick out, jump forward, and then deadlift those weights from the ground and back. If you find that too difficult, go a bit narrow your dumbbells and bring the feet wider. You can do that. So you can sort of take the feet, just work on the dumbbells, and then pull from there. Uh, kick out. Jump. Oh. You should feel this down the hamstrings and glutes. So really pull from the back here. Uh, and rest. Okay, recover. Dumbbells down. Whew. Final move. We're going to do what's called a dumbbell thruster. So we hold one dumbbell in each hand. We squat down, press up. I just want to go for speed here, yeah? 
Speed, power, explosive power. Last 40 seconds. Okay. So just fall straight down into it. Bang. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Ah. Ah. It's hard. Final 10 seconds. This is the end of our 20 minute strength workout. Yeah, two more, two more. Last rep. Yeah. Job done. 20 minutes. Well, I'm getting through that session. It was quite tough. OG in the 10s. Pushed me a lot on those shoulder press, those overhead stuff. Great workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, please hit subscribe. I post regular workouts on here. I've got a stitch, but I enjoyed that, I feel good. Short workout, intense, well done. Enjoy your day wherever you are, wherever you are in the world. And if you want to find out more about my workout programs, check out the Body Coach app. You can do a three week trial, workouts, recipes, tailored meal plans, you'll love it. Well done, see you soon, have a great day. Keep moving, good luck.